Prepare yourselves for the adrenaline pumping headline of the night. The Nafati Brothers versus Eddie the Beast Hall. This clash of titans needs no introduction. Hi. Eddie, come on. Come on, guys. I'm sorry, sorry, just let you off. Eddie, guys, you know the rules. This is my comments. Let's just stop it, stop. You can catch the gloves if you want. Okay, yeah, if you touch the gloves, you want. Fight clean, go back to the corner and wait for my signal start. All right? Go back, go back. Well, here we go. The main event of the first edition of the World Freak Fight League. Alex. This is what we have been waiting for all night. This is all a bit surreal, really. I'm not going to lie. I'm sat here like, OK. OK, this is happening. The Fatty Brothers red corner with the green shorts. Eddie Hall in the black with the red trim in the blue corner right here. Everybody. Oh, here we go. Eddie, are you ready? Come on. Fighters ready. Fight. Clapping them in. Let's go. Already circling. Look at this. I talked about the strategy. They're both coming from a very wide angle. Eddie calling them on. They're both egging each other on here. This is very, very interesting. They ultimately, it was like a football formation. They swapped in wings yeah, before and, they went on to Eddie. And you know, Eddie's taking this seriously. I like that he's putting his back to the fence. It means they can't get behind him. This is an important part of the strategy. And we have got rounds here, you know, two minute rounds, I believe. Two minute rounds, three rounds of, of MMA action. And you can feel the tension. No shot has been thrown yet. We are 30 seconds in. It's but that first explosion, that first use of strength. Will we see it? When will we see it? And they've got to draw it out of him because cardio is going to be their weapon. Come on. The referee, there's two referees in the cage here again. More the referee's action, telling more action is what the fans are also wanting. But there is more to this fight. You've got to think about what you do from either side. I mean, get some timed leg kicks off. <laughs> what a spectacle! I mean, Eddie is lunging towards them, and they're being very wise and cautious about the way that they're going to attack, but they have to pull the trigger. They've brought they... everyone here. The shots have been thrown by Eddie Hall so far, and the fighters have been moving off. I wonder if the referee's going to stop it and have a word with them to actually throw a bit more shots. Well, you got to encourage action. Timidity is against the rules, usually. First shot left. <laughs> leg oh, kick. <laughs> they didn't even move him. I mean, that leg kick that was nothing. Hurt Look, they're talking now. A little bit of gamesmanship, a little bit of strategy. Eddie came here for a fight. He's been training, letting five, six people fight him at once. And now he's got the two men in here. Eddie is keeping composed and professional because he can't run after one. But then his back is exposed. And a big kick again from the twin. Trying to land that leg kick. They did say it would be over in 30 seconds. Obviously, a different strategy has played out here. 10 second clapper for this first round, which has been very uneventful. Yeah, all we've seen so far is two leg kicks really from the Nafati and a whole lot more talking. And that was round number one ended. Eddie Hall, unimpressed. You know, Eddie definitely came here for a fight to put on a show for his fans. That first round, very, very. What is going on here? Well, like, I open up the crowd, and, but I'm very, very Of course, we have to see something. This, of course, is a MMA fight. There's an outside leg kick, and that barely shook Eddie Hall, and he was stepping into it as well. Of course, they're running away as they're striking, so you're not going to sit down and get the same kind of power. And it looks like they're trying to bait Eddie to come forward, you know. Eddie's obviously got this strategy, he wants to put his back on the fence, wait for them to come to him. And almost the Nefati brothers feel like they want Eddie to come to them as they cat and mouse and, and no one's given up here. Yeah, it was very interesting. As soon as the round finished, Eddie made a big statement, which I can't say on air, unfortunately. Right. But he was go very down. impressed by the amount of action that was going on. But it doesn't matter go because go we are go going go into go round number two. Yeah, and you know, from Eddie's side, it's going to be hard for him to chase down one of these guys. I mean, that, that really doesn't seem like a strategy that could work. No, because they would take the back. Wow. And, and that's yeah, why the the Eddie's game plan it it makes the sense for the Nefartis. What are they trying to do? You would think if they were going to go for the legs, there would be more leg kicks. We only see to those far. Well, they're just terrified of getting slapped by the giant, by the, the beast that's in there, you know? But I'm sure they're going to have a talk about the strategy right now. Eddie, of course, technically he lost that round. I mean, he didn't do anything, and then nor did they, but they did land two strikes. Yeah, exactly. That. So he threw a few, but they missed. And here we go, round number two between the Nafati brothers and Eddie Hall. Yeah, Eddie just waiting for his moment here. You know, he doesn't have much choice. It'll be quite hard, like I said, to track down one of these guys. But if he can get one of them to the ground, can you imagine what would happen? Eddie does feel like a ticking time bomb right now when that shot is let off. I wonder if he even could catch. Them when they, oh, it goes! Oh! A big shot, that's missed. And Eddie Hall has changed his game plan and he's chased after one of them. 
Yeah, I'm kind of close on that right hand as well. You saw the speed from the big man, but Eddie keeps calling him on, and the fatties are, are calling him on. Someone's got to throw first. Eddie checking his watch as the crowd get a little restless yes, here. The crowd are getting a bit annoyed and frustrated as the main event so far has been minimal action in another leg kick lands. I think that one didn't look Four like that didn't look like it landed that one, but just maybe even look at it like this. Are the Nafati brothers going for a complete But by doing absolutely I don't think it's their intention to have put on such a show and for this to be happening, but once you're in there, it's obviously very different. You know, you don't want to get knocked out, you don't want to lose, and the presence of Eddie Hall is being felt by these two men. A word is coming from the ref right now, because as Eddie is trying to engage, they are retreating, so perhaps that's why the ref is instructing them. Is that a deductible point, I mean, it can be, you know, you know, timidity is kind of part of the rule set, you know, if you show timidity, that's, you have to fight, you have to be prepared to fight, and nothing action-wise is happening. Back in Japan, you would get a yellow card and you'd lose some money, but we don't do that these days. Well, it might be needed for this fight. Eddie Hall runs after one, but then he has to watch his back. It's Eddie a very is ready. Complicated fight for Eddie, Hall. Eddie is ready to fight someone. He just can't fight anyone right now. Trying to use his he's peripheral vision. At, yeah, he's looking down at the camera. Oh! Face, but he can't catch them either. There's a lack of speed there. Obviously, with the amount that he weighs and the amount that the Nafatis weighs, he's never going to catch him. Probably not. You know, he's trying some tactics in there. It's quite tough. That's a check right there as well. That's pretty sneaky, that check from Eddie. Picked up that lead leg again. again. And, and this has but been surely the. Surely the Nafati's got to double down from that kick. They've got two humans in there. We need to see more action. You know, I would, I would like to see some coordinators attacks at the same time. You know, but it's not always easy. The ref is having to run now, and Eddie doing whatever he can to try and track one of these guys down. And that is the end of the second round, right there. Massive booze here at King George's Hall, the home city of the Nafati Brothers. This is a very, very, very confusing fight. I mean, like, listen, you, you, you say this fight is going to happen on paper. Look at him sprint away. Eddie's trying to do what he can. You know, but Nafati's there, obviously, have terms of time to turn and run in a forward direction. Eddie's trying to be careful of his back there, but. You know, of all the ways this fight could have played out, I guess it's certainly a possibility. He can send five men in there. They might have the same attitude when trying to fight Eddie Hall. When, yeah, when you are against the world's strongest man, it's a completely different story. And this is what it's feeling like right now. There is one more round left, and both referees are having words with each fighter. They're not impressed. The referees want to see more action, just as everyone here in Blackburn does too. A double single, how about that? Two singles at the same time. A lot of support for the Nafati brothers here from all the fans cage side, but yet to really find a strategy that works for them, you know? Well, here we go, third and final round here at the King George's Hall, which will end the first edition of the World Freak Filing. Our main event here, the Nafati brothers taking on Eddie Hall, two rounds has not really lived up to the excitement, but it could be a very well executed you know, sometimes you can't just, uh, uh, you know, please the fans. You've got to win. And is that what Nafatis are doing? It's true. I mean, look, Eddie wants to fight. And, you know, he, it, unfortunately, he he doesn't seem to be able to chase down and catch these guys, you know. So if the Nafatis want to score points and get a show, they have to do this. But they are sticking to a game plan. You know, we've said this before. You put these guys in here to fight this big man. There's only really one safe way to do that. And that's a hit and run approach. They don't want to enter the pocket. They don't want to brawl. And no hands have been thrown yet, really, Not by either man. Punch has been landed actually in this fight. There has Yo. been kicks, but I don't think there has been a single punch landed thrown, but not landed. Let's see if, in the closing seconds, someone takes a chance. Eddie is clearly super frustrated. I mean, I think he signed up for a war, for a fight. And the Fatties are trying to say the same thing, and now Eddie's standing in the middle. They're not taking advantage of that either. Eddie backs up again. Eddie Hall is unimpressed, he's really, really frustrated. But I'm thinking if you're Eddie Hall, you may, you may as well go for it now then. Like James, oh. he, has he almost had one of them there. I mean, maybe turning it into a takedown might work for him. I um, think you just got to chase him as much as you can. At this point, yeah, I mean, less than a minute left in this third and final round. Oh! The speed that Eddie ran across okay, the cage. There we go. Eddie on the single leg. Trying to fight. Oh, picking one guy up. Slams him down. Eddie Hall. Oh, the right hand for Eddie Hall. He's knocked him out. One 
shot. Oh it's all in shot. One shot has knocked one of the Devontae brothers out cold. And Eddie Hall is victorious in a fight that looked like it wasn't going anyway. In a fight that looked completely dead in the water. In the final seconds, the world's strongest man knocks out one of the twins when we were about to get action. And that's what happens when you step in with the world strongest man. He said he was going to do it. He said one punch was all he needed. Like a flash of lightning, that straight right came out down the middle and cleaned the clock of the Navati brothers there. Not sure. He's, he's regained consciousness here, cage side, but Eddie Hall got what he wanted. A chance to show off the power. And he fired that straight right hand. Accurate and clean. We're going to see on the highlights here, most likely that final shot landed. And, you know, I, I believe the fight may continue here. I don't know if it's been officially completely waved off. Awfully, obviously, the doctors are in right now as well. And here we go on the replay. The lifting up of the pale driver. Now they're closing the distance. There's the right hand as he comes in. And up he gets. He's all right. He's back on his feet. The crowd go wild. The single leg back fist. This is the slam. And as he gets up, bam, right hand sends him to dreamland. However, Beautiful the fight shot. is not over. Yes, I, I am aware the fight is not over. But there's not much time left. 30 seconds, I think, or so for this lone Nafati brother to go up against Eddie Hall. And a single Nafati redeem the brother's pride here. What a shot from Eddie Hall. I mean, absolutely incredible. So brave for them to go for it in the closing moments of the round. That's the fight they wanted. They went for the strategy and Eddie showed that. You know, size and strength, it does, it does matter. But, here we go. Final instructions from the referee. We're going to clap it back in. I don't know if anybody realised that the fight is going to continue here. Here we go, about 30 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds for a lone Nafati to survive. If he knocks him out now, it's going to be crazy. And we're going, and we're starting. Here he comes out. The one now is completely different. Eddie pushing the pace, trying to close the distance, stalking down his man. Oh, the jab sends it down. Is Eddie going to get on top? He's going to get on his bicycle. This is incredible. I've seen nothing like this before. David Eddie Vesco, oh, Eddie's on Eddie's top. top. Be all over. Oh, he needs to move. He cannot stay here. Oh, big shot. The ground and pound from Eddie. Oh, short shots, and he's, he's calling it up. He gets the win. Two knockouts for Eddie Hall. One beautiful knockout on the feet. One TKO on the ground. And a backflip from the left feet. He brought Look at this. And he gives him a hug. You know, I think we all got what we wanted. It just took us a while to get there. I mean, come on now. What an event this is. That was absolutely crazy. The last of five from a said, you know what? I'm still coming for you, Eddie. I'm still coming for you. Nice finish by Eddie here. Good control, almost Brock Lesnar-like. You know, doesn't use a lot of distance to generate power. And let's face it, he didn't need a lot of power in that position. You know, that Nefati brother, he tried. I'm not sure if that was Jamel or Jamel. It's hard to tell, I'm not going to lie. But great work from both men. And, you know... The fight is all over. This bout ends in the final round. The referee calls this contest at 1 minute 58 seconds. Double KO victory for the one and only world's strongest man, Eddie!